Hey guys, Zach Mars here and welcome to Metro Dread. So, cue my usual spiel, spiel throughout the week about how I was doing Courage Month. This is a game I could not cover, but uh, in any case, welcome to Metro Dread. I'm finally playing it. Um, and uh, Metro Dread, um, if you guys don't know, it's the most recent game in the Metroid series. Um, I'm... I'm a, I've been a fan of Metroid Boy for a while, but I haven't been able to properly talk about Metroid yet because this is the first modern game, first game I've had that I've been, had the capacity to record. So, yeah, I'm gonna, in any case, I'm gonna get into it because it does, because Metroid Dread is actually very interesting in that it's the late, in that's the latest of a, in the game of a series I've already talked about. But uh, it is it is definitely a very fun. You may note this. You may note this game as a. Uh, Made by the same guys who made um who made a Famicom Detective Club. So if you like that series, you'll probably like this one. Um, uh, this is a much more this is their more well known series. So maybe not, but uh, yeah, this uh, so yeah, this game this game is very much is very much an Egavania type game, and uh, they're all games like this. Uh, but uh, yeah, the idea, but the, yeah, the, in any case, um, I have actually I actually am playing this one because uh. Well, it gives me the opportunity to talk about one of my favorite video game protagonists ever, so I'm taking the opportunity to talk about them. But in any case, uh, I, I, th I, don't, I think I've mixed up my words like five, six times. But uh, in any case, um, I'm just going to get into Metroid Dread. I'm going to shut up and stop saying the same things over and over. So without further ado, let's just get into this game. And Storks. All right, I gotta adjust the brightness. Um. Uh, left on, image on the left is barely visible, so that mean that would be. I think that's perfect. Okay. Or, yeah, I can't. Yeah, that's a. Unless the unless there's unless it's no, that seems like it says as far as it goes. Okay. That's as far as the slider goes. So just all the way down. All right, that seems still seems a little too bright, but eh, that that's kind of perfect. All right, well, in any case, why would you like to save these settings? Absolutely. In any case, let's get started. Yeah, so I haven't really gotten to talk about Metroid yet, which is which is why I'm gonna be excited. Metroid, a viral and floating organism that drained energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo and named after the word for Ultimate Warrior. Their value as a bioweapon sparked several crises, and as a result, result, all traces of them have been eliminated. They are now extinct. Alright. Oh. Oh yeah, the X-Parasites. X-Parasites! A gelatinous parasitic organism indigenous to the planet SR388. It can absorb the DNA of its host, living or dead, and replicate its form. When infecting a living host, it could even access the host's memories. X parasite were driven not by emotion, but by an instinctive need to replicate and spread into increasingly stronger hosts. Their inability to be controlled marked them as even more dangerous than their sole predator, the Metroids. Like the Metroids, they are believed extinct. But I'm getting the feeling they're not. Um. Yeah, especially since one attacks Samus. That's where we're at, by the way. This is where this is set after fusion. So yeah, this is after Samus got attacked. With no much are surviving on SR388, it became infested with the X with the X, horrifying parasites capable of imitating any life living being. Unaware of this, I set foot on the planet, got infected, and almost died. All right, so we are indeed talking in Samus's head right now. That makes the best sense. Um. Oh, but we got, but we became. Super Samus. Alright. Yeah, this is set immediately after fu fu Fusion. I haven't played Fusion. I, there's a couple of games I have played, but I haven't played Fusion. The only thing that saved me was a vaccine created by Metroid DNA, which also left me uniquely able to oppose the X. This ability was tested immediately when I went to, to a biotic, biologic space laboratory's BSL research station to investigate a distress signal. Alright. Oh, yeah. SAX. There I battled many powerful X forms, including the SAX, which was the X mimicking me in my power suit at full strength. I eventually eliminated the, S the X menace on SR388 by setting the BSL research station on a collision course with the planet. Alright. 
That seems like a very permanent solution. After that, the X and Metroids ju were just memories. Or so we thought. Just when it all seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video, tra video transmission. Alright. Oh. That is definitely curious. It showed an X, alive and in the wild. Thorough analysis, analysis proved the video was real. Although the sender was unknown, the transmission was traced to a particular planet. And this is where we stick in. Time for Samus to go kick some ass. It was called ZDR. If the X had somehow escaped extinction out there, they would pose a threat the, to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dispatched a research team on seven of semi seven Emmy to investigate. Oh, but those are the main antagonists of the game, so uh, I don't think that worked out very well for them. An Emmy is a large research robot designed to capture field samples and extract their DNA. Their, their incredible mobility and protective plating, made of the strongest stuff in the universe, practically guaranteed the mission success. But then they went haywire. But not long after the Royal and ZDR, all communication was lost. Alright, and now we gotta go figure out what happened to them. We know the Emmy are the main antagonists of the game, so... Or at least the main antagonistic threat in the game. What is happening on ZDR? Is the planet really infested with X? As the only one immune to the parasites, it's up to me to go there and find out. Yeah, because you're me you're part Metroid now. You can't you can't be infected with X anymore. That ma that makes perfect sense. She's per she's very much part Metroid. So yes, she is officially Agent Metroid now. So that is that is where the timeline is right now. The the games do kind of jump all over the timeline a little bit. Um, like like the like I put I think the last one was Metroid Other M, or at least as I think that's the most recent one or before this. Um, so. Yeah, and that one and that one is set way before way before or after this, I think. So yeah, that so yeah, they don't cut they don't happen in chronological order. Not not in the remote not in remotely in the slightest. Alright. Alright, we got about ten minutes then. To park to park our ship and get ready to go. Alright. Yeah. Hi, Samus. All right. All right. Yeah. So, not, I haven't talked about this yet, but uh, Samus is a woman. That was the big reveal at the end of the first game. Samus is Samus is a girl, and uh, she is kind of and she is and she is very much a girl playing the role of a man. That is very much the story. The story of Metroid. It is, and that is why she is one. She is one of, if not my favorite, female protagonists. She is just a really. Oh, she crash landed. Okay. Well, guess we're gonna have to work through that. You okay, Samus? You okay, my lady? All right, get it up. You you, you can walk it off. It's all right. Oh. Ooh. She's having a memory flashback. Alright. Okay. No. Alright, so... Okay, so this is where we came from. We emerged from this elevator and got attacked and faced something immediately. So. Oh! Hello! That's a. Ch that looks ch very Chozo like. Alright. Alright. Well, he has his own energy blaster. I'm assuming that's going to become important, evidently, when he kicks our ass. Alright. Yeah, that's about what I expected. 
Yep. She's fine. She's gotta be fine. We know this. If if it, if she w wasn't fine, there would be no game. But uh. Uh. I'm very confused what happened there. Also, our suit, seems our suit got a bit of a downgrade. Her, her shoulder plates used to be yellow or orange. Point is, something seems off about her suit. Alright. Well, in any case... Oh, now we get to play the game. Alright. Uh. Okay. Let's explore this first area first. See what we can find. Uh. I don't think I have the bombs yet. There's, there is a technique that you can use where you can jump up with it with your bombs. It, it's a very common technique, and I'm pretty sure everybody who's played a Metroid game knows about it. Or the, and has, it, and has at least tried it at least once. It, it, is a very, it is a very common technique and one that a lot of people use to navigate. But in any case, there's a thing here. Oh, I can't even... Okay, can't bust that open. I was gonna go that way, but apparently I'm not allowed. All right. Oh, hello. Ow. All right. How much? How much health do I have? I really don't want to try figure that out, but uh. All right. Uh, the L. Uh, what button is that? Oh. Okay. Hold L. Oh, I see you. Ah, there's a secret. Okay, so this is how we go up and over. Alright, I hear something. I want to fill in the map because I get the feeling we're not... Because I just want to. It, 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 it's pleasing to my brain. That is why we're doing it. Um, Alright. Also, uh, I, I, this is a little... I, I don't... I'll get to it when I get to that actual... To the actual part of the... To the level where it is. But I, I, if, if I wind up doing it in this episode, I don't think I will. Oh, I see. Okay, that's how I get up. That, uh, that's neat. Oh, is this a save point? Ammo already at max capacity, except. Okay, can I save here? No. This is just a this is just an ammo kiosk. Uh, can't do anything with that. So. Oh. Okay. That was neat. Some destructible blocks are hidden. You run into a dead end, try shooting at your surroundings. Strike at some blocks with missiles, maybe we'll how to destroy them. Yeah, okay, I am at, I am at that point then. Crouch. Alright, there we go. Neat. Oh. There we go. Now we can slide. Ah, that's the door I can open. Oh! What is this? This is machine. This is a big machine that I can stick my thing in. Uploading data. Hello, you've accessed the network station. Well done, Samus. I have reviewed your vital signs and video log from the data you uploaded. Okay. I've run a full analysis, but I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic hmm. physical changes in you. Hmm. Interesting. Whatever caused these changes seems to have stripped you of most abilities. You might call it physical amnesia. 
Yeah, if you say so. That's not sure how that works. Your assailant. I am tracking the Federation database against your video log. It appears to have been a Chozo. I thought it was a Chozo. He is not yet clear. Okay, that's interesting. I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of DVR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is precarious. Trust your instincts as you navigate upward. Okay. This planet appears to consist of multiple areas, shuttles, elevators, and other modes of transport connect them. Keep an eye out for ways to reach the surface. Okay, thank you, Adam. Location is marked on your global map. Check it for yourself. Okay. You may encounter pockets of low temperature. Your Metroid DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. Spending time in cold areas will be harmful to you. I guess that makes sense. There are many such cold areas Metroids hate cold. Do not enter them with your basic power suit. All right, thank you. Final thing: underground interference is preventing radio transmissions. Check in with me at any network stations you find. All right. All right, that, and that's how we save our progress. All right, so. Okay, so. Ammo recharge station. All right. There's got to be some other places I can go. Uh, all right. Let's go forward. Oh, Sluggy. Hi, Sluggy. Can I kill you? I want to kill you. Let me kill you. All right. Uh, let me guess. Do I need... No. Oh, because I need to save my ammo. I forgot about that. Oh! Hi. Hi. Use a melee counter at the very moment a person and attacks an automatically take aim from at the attacker. Alright. Oh, that's how it worked. Oh, he, he's got a glow. Oh, I'm gonna blow up. Yeah, there's Samus. Bye-bye. Alright, continue. Alright. Well, that went about as well as I expected. I, I fought some giant thing that didn't like me very much. Alright, in any case, now we can move forward. Shoot the sluggy! Ow! Alright, this is gonna give me a tutorial again. Kill it. Just keep a distance from it. Kill it. Yeah, you ain't kicking my ass. There we go. You ain't kicking my ass a second time. Alright. Oh, I can... I forgot I got wall jump. Yeah, no chance in hell of getting my ass kicked this time around. I know what I'm doing, I think. All right. Just assume everything's a hostile enemy. That's what we're doing. Assume everything is a hostile. Assume everything is going to kill you and, and murder you. That's always a good sign. That's always a good idea in video games. Assume everything is going to kill you unless it talk, unless it speaks, unless it's talking actively talking to you. Assume it's an enemy. Ow. All right. All right. Pr well, press X while running to execute a powerful dash melee. I like other melee. Like, uh, the, da the dash melee will damage the enemy. Okay, that's cool. So I can use a me so I can use melee attacks when I'm running. But only when I'm running. 
That's the, that's the operative for... This is closed off. I can't actually go this way. I would like to go that way, but I can't. Alright. Die? Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna go find another ne network station, and I think I'm gonna leave it here. Um, because... Actually, no. I'm gonna keep going for a bit longer. Uh... Oh! Where am I? If an, if, if an area is on the map is blinking, it indicates there's a hidden item there. Oh! Oh! Alright, what, what do I do to find the hidden? What do I do to find the hidden? Ah, there you are. Uh, oh, but now now I can't get out. Oh, well, that, what, what was a... That was a terrible... Oh, but I do get a... Missile tank acquired. Missile capacity increased by two. Okay, so that's what I wanted. Oh, I'm in a trash compactor now. Or somewhere. Somewhere where I'm not supposed to be. Somewhere where I'm not supposed to be. Somewhere dangerous. There's the Emmy. Yeah, that thing is... That thing is fucked up. Look at it. That thing's all sorts of messed up. Oh. An enemy is attacking me counter by pressing X at the X moment with the flash. Manu However, time is extremely difficult to gauge, making this a desperate maneuver. Oh, I gotta... I gotta escape the enemy. Okay. Well, this is this is gonna be this is why it's called Metroid Dread, because this shit's terrifying. There's no way in hell we're getting away from this thing. Oh, but I can't chase after us because its leg is messed up. Perfect. Yeah, you can't get us up here. Perfect. Hello. That's a brain. Some sort of thing. Ah. I got a my, I got my weapon back, I think. All right. The energy from the central unit transformed the arm cannon into the omega cannon. Omega can blaster online. Hold L to use aim mode, tilt L to aim, if targets nearby samples will automatically face in that direction. Oh. Alright. Oh, do I need to do that to get out? Uh. Alright, so I can't escape this way. But now I should have what I need to actually kick the Emmy's ass, right? Where's the Emmy? It was right here. Where did it go? Did it leave? Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh. It, it, it ambushed me. Let me guess, it's going to send me back a little bit. There's no way it's not. Oh, no, I'm fine. Okay, so that was the save point. Alright, now we know that this is indeed a thing. There you go! That's how we kick an enemy's ass. Well, that was one, but there's still six of these things lying around. And there goes my new weapon. Okay, so it's a temporary thing. Omega cannon depleted and offline. Returning to regular arm cannon. Okay, so I don't get to keep the Omega cannon for very long doesn't seem. Alright, so, but now I can get, oh, that one was busted. Oh, where am, okay, that's, the, that's where my amiibo functionality is. Where am I? Oh, this is how I get back to the, right? Alright, 
Restore. Okay, now I can get back. Yeah, I couldn't get through this way because they, they, they took my, that op option away from me. Hello. Uh. Okay, this is a save point. So... Alright, well, I think... Well, okay, well, I think I'm gonna leave this first episode here. Um, so I had a lot of fun playing this. I'm definitely going to make a full series out of this. Don't get me wrong. Also, those are Chozo. Pretty sure those are Chozo. But I'm, I'm definitely going to make a full series out of this. Don't get me wrong. Um, cancel. I just want to stand here because it looks cool. Because I like the way Samus is posing here. All right, but in any case, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to leave this episode here then. So, yeah, this, I think this is a sufficient first episode to leave to leave it off on. We, we played for like a half an hour. I think that's a good. I think that's a good enough for a basis for a baseline of this. Um, so yeah, I'm going into, I'm only going to be doing like half hour segments because that's the way Metroid de games are designed. But, uh, yeah, you can, you can usually expect a save point every 15 minutes, every 15 minutes to a half hour. So I'm going to just say, I'm just going to leave it here. I'm going to continue this in the near future. Don't worry about it. But, uh, yeah, I am definitely going to come back, come back and play more of this. I want to talk more about Samus because Samus is cool. I like her. I like her. She is my favorite. Um, and, uh, yeah, she's just a, and yeah, I just wanted to play this because I haven't played a Metroid game in a while. And I thought this would be a fun treat. So, in any case, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter in the description below. Um, be sure to check out my Patreon in the description below as well. It's only a couple bucks a month. It does really help me out, and you guys get access to a bunch of cool perks that I'm always saying thanks. So, be sure to check those out in the description below as well. Um... Also, be sure to check out my Twitch down description. I stream every Sunday at 2.30 Eastern Standard Time. So, if you want to see more of that, then uh, just be sure to go check those out. Link is down in the description as well. Um, and finally, if you want to see more content from me, then be sure to check out the videos linked in the end screen. The top video is the most recent one. It may or may not be this one. Whereas above me, it's a video I recommend to you based on what you've already seen from me. So, if you want to try something new or see more of what you like, then be sure to check both of those videos out. But, regardless of whether or not you do any or all of those things... Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.